Hi, I'm Brian Bankston. I'm a library assistant here at the George Memorial Library. And I'm going to be doing a series of tutorials on uh, some photography projects that you can do at home while staying safe. Today we're going to be doing painting with light. Um, a lot of people don't know that the word photography itself is Greek for painting with light. This technique is uh, really great for doing some uh, really moody uh, still lifes. Um, one fun thing to do, uh, if you want, is to go onto the Getty's, uh, Getty's Museum's website, look at some still lifes, and try to uh, mimic one with items uh, that you have at home. Today I'm just using some books that I found at the library. So what you'll need for this, uh, you'll need a camera. You don't necessarily need a DSLR fancy camera, but you will need one that can um, be set on manual mode, so you can set uh, the shutter speed and the aperture. You will also need a uh, tripod or something to set the camera on uh, to keep it still while the picture is being taken. And you will need uh, um, some un some something to take a picture of. Uh, this fine stuff at home, and you'll need a room that uh, can, that you can make relatively dark. So let's get started. All right. So uh, the setting as for the settings on your camera, you will need to set the shutter speed to a very long shutter speed. Uh, you can set it, uh, for right now, what I'm using, I'm setting it to 10 seconds. You can also set it, some cameras have what they call a bulb mode, which when you press the shutter, it opens and it won't close again until you turn it off. Uh, the aperture, you wanna set that, um, probably a very small aperture, which is a high F number, something like F22, um, unless you wanna play up the depth of field and then set it to uh, a larger aperture, which would be F5.6, F8, something like that. Uh, if you do have a larger aperture, you will need to make sure the room is pretty, pretty dark. And you want to set the ISO uh, as low as it'll go, 100, 200. You don't want to be introducing any noise into that. So what you're going to do, set your, your, tri your camera on a tripod, point it at your, what you're photographing, um, go ahead and hit the, um, the autofocus. And the reason you do that is because when you, when you turn the lights off, it is um, very hard for it to get it in autofocus um, while it's in the dark. So go ahead and get the focus done, and then we'll turn off the lights. So give me just a second. This is where the flashlight comes in handy. So what you're going to do is hit the shutter. And while it's the shutter's on, you're going to use the flashlight to light up your subject. Just like this. And you get a nice pretty picture. So there's many different ways you can do this. I'm going to uh, first do a picture where I cover the, the subject very evenly with the light. And as you can see, the, um, the, uh, the, the, I have a nice even light all around it. Now for this one, I'm going to just do uh, certain parts of the subject. And so as you can see, uh, you have a real kind of moody light that uh, has kind of an unreal feeling about it, uh, but was very reminiscent of the way painters often painted uh, their step lights. I'm going to do one more where I'm just lighting it straight from above. And as you can see, the uh, the front of the, of, the, of, the, of the books are mostly dark, but you get a nice rim outline uh, that looks really, really kind of spooky. All 
Okay, so next we're going to do some portraits. Uh, portraits can be a lot of fun uh, using painting with white. You just have to make sure that your subject is very, very still while the shutter is open. So what you do is uh, have the subject sit down, point the camera at them, get the right angle that you want, uh, focus the camera before you turn off the lights. Next, you'll turn off the lights and hit the shutter and use the flashlight to uh, paint whatever white you want on the subject. So for this first one uh, that I did, uh, I just painted the light, uh, what we typically would call Rembrandt lighting. I had the light coming from <clears throat> above at a 45 degree angle, hitting mainly just one side of her face. For the next one, uh, uh, I did one where I, I covered, uh, I had full, full light on all parts of her face. Uh, that one looked a lot spookier than I thought it would. Uh, um, and then for the last one, I did one with um, just coming, the light just coming from above, uh, like direct, almost directly above, mainly shining on the hair. Uh, okay, so for the next part, uh, for our last uh, segment of this, uh, we're gonna teach you how to write words with white. Okay, one fun thing you can do with painting with white is actually use the flashlight to write words in space. Uh, so for uh, this next one, I uh, wrote the word books uh, in space. And what you just do is uh, set up the camera on a tripod. Uh, you either have to have a, someone here to help you or to use a timer. Uh, then turn off the lights, um, hit the shutter, and then use your flashlight remembering that you're having to write backwards when you do this, uh, and then just writing the words in the air. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, for my next uh, tutorial coming out soon, we'll be doing professional looking portraits on the cheap, where I'll teach you how to make really great looking portraits using uh, lighting and equipment that you have at your home. So in the meantime, stay home and stay safe.